Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's time for more Chasing Sunsets, so let's go. All right, before we get into the video, you know you're going to like this one, so go ahead and click the like button now. And uh, if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. Also, check out the links in the description. It helps support the channel. And with that being said, we can go ahead and continue. Where uh, we have Mallory, apparently, snoring in Alex's bed. That's right. Uh, so Alex gave her the bed. He's sleeping on the couch. And um, we'll, see. We'll, we'll see how the interview process goes. You missed the last video you can check that out also by clicking on the uh there's an icon in the top right corner somewhere where you can check out the playlist and see some of the past episodes anyway let's see if uh she's gonna wake up or not there we go oh that's a that's a good long snore right there like her mouth open and everything i'm surprised she's not like drooling all over her pillow up and at him mm -hmm. What time is it? Four o'clock. Breakfast is getting cold. Is it four in the morning? Four o... That means it's still yesterday. You want me to leave you here? Yes. Come on, get some breakfast. I'll take mine with almond milk and an extra shot. In the words of the great Henry Ford, you can have it the way you want it, as long as it's black. <laughs> so she's not a morning person. She's not a morning person. You can tell by the way she's like looking at him right now. Not a morning person. Mallory sits up in your bed groggily. So, there's no milk at all? Truck hasn't come yet. Given how giddy Linda's been, she might get creative if you ask nicely. Wait, what? Her eyes widen comically as she catches your meaning. Oh my god, does that mean what I think it does? Uh, only one way to find out. I'm not exactly sure if I know what that means. But, uh, I, I also have my speculation. Okay, black is fine. All right. Short time later, Mallory joins you while you're loading the sled. Looks dangerous. Mm-hmm. Harder to control with two people on it? Yep. Spotty cell coverage if there's an accident. Definitely. Cool. I want to drive. <laughs> fuck with her or bullshit her? Um, I'm going to fuck with her a little bit. Let's see. I was hoping you'd say that. Defrosted your rental and left the motor running. You win. I'll ride, bitch. Okay, I think he was just saying, hey, your ride's good. You can go home. <laughs> um, anyway, the, the morning goes smoothly. To your surprise, Mallory doesn't actually ask any questions. All right, first time out here, apparently. Then I remembered that movie and stuck a banana in his tailpipe. I'm not exactly sure what movie she's referring to. Um, is there a movie where someone stuck a banana in somebody's tailpipe? I don't know. Huh? My wife says, yeah, she won't tell me the movie, but it's an Eddie Murphy movie, apparently. For a woman who built her fame on listening, she does a remarkable amount of talking. I just realized she's talking to Alex while he's in the outhouse. <laughs> okay, she does do a lot of talking. I wouldn't want to be anywhere near the outhouse while somebody's in there. Plus, I definitely, if I was in the outhouse, wouldn't want somebody talking to me either. My wife just got back with me. She says Beverly Hills Cop is a movie where somebody stuck a banana in a tailpipe. All right. Now that we've got that out of the way, we know what movie Mallory's talking about. Turned out the intern was poking holes in a condom he kept in his desk drawer. In fact, oh, is she going poop over there now? What are you doing over there, Mallory? In fact, you can't remember the last person in your life who had quite so much to say. Are there bears out here? Oh, gosh, you think they track by pee? Okay, she's not pooping. She's peeing. You discover she has a gift for telling stories that makes you feel like you were there. Hell yeah, write it like you stole it. Okay. You're surprised. You find yourself showing her one of your favorite thinking spots. As you enjoy your first silence of the day, a thought occurs to you. Mallory may be the only person I know who's traveled as much as I have. In addition, every so often, something about her strikes you as vaguely familiar. That's when it happens. For the first time since Jay watched you play baseball in high school, you make a fool of yourself to impress a girl. Linda said you used to be an instructor here. Yeah, right out of high school. Could you teach me? Interview time's burning. Is it? Sure, I could teach you. The bunny slope. A short time later. 
All right. So what am I teaching her exactly? Uh, just how to ski. I moved your bindings forward for better control. How do they feel? I don't know. I can't afford to break an ankle now. I won't let that happen. Don't make promises you can't keep. Well, you'd win a Darwin Award if you'd broken your ankle on the bunny slope. Challenge accepted. You've already nailed the first lesson. Which is? Standing still on a slope with skis attached. I feel like I should be working on that. Really master it. No pain, no gain. The trick is to always remember that the skis don't have brakes. Use turns and snow plowing to bleed off speed. If I break an ankle, I'll break one of these skis off in your ass. Okay. He's like, shush, shush. Just let it happen. Oh my god, you sounded so... Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay. So he's more like, shh. Just let it happen. <laughs> and how are you skiing backwards? I'm not. You're skiing forward. What? Don't worry, I got you. I'm going faster. Slalom. I'm 100% sure we didn't cover that. Snowplow. I didn't really cover that either, did I? <laughs> She's, she is on the bunny slope, right? So how fast can you go on the bunny slope? I'm going to come up alongside you. Watch and do what I do. Too close. Her pole trips you up and both of you tumble into the snow in a tangle of limbs. Oh, shit. Are you all right? Mallory? Shit, she's unconscious. I didn't think we bit it that hard. Skeptical at first, your concern rises when you don't see your chest moving. Please have a pulse. Forgetting you're wearing gloves, you cringe at your own stupidity. <laughs> Mallory! You place your ear over her mouth and prepare to begin CPR. Well, qu quick as lightning, Mallory's tongue darts into your ear and you almost shoot out of your skin. Wet willy. Hold on, that's not how you do a wet willy. Wet willy is supposed to be done with your finger, not your tongue. That's kind of gross. <laughs> you don't know whether to be relieved or furious, so you just stare back at her dumbly. You should have seen your face. <laughs> oh my god. Christ, Mallory, I thought you were hurt. Or worse. Okay, alright, she's having some fun. I have snow under my bra... And it was still worth it. <laughs> something about her carefree laughter and her joy at punking you shakes something loose. All right. You got me. M Mallory falls silent and stares at you. That's new. What? You have a laugh. I mean, it's a sad, timid little thing that you probably keep in a closet under the stairs, but it's there. Well, don't get used to it. I'll try not to. And was that a Harry Potter reference? Nerd. Mallory resets her bindings and snaps expertly back into her skis. She flashes a coy smile at you and checks her balance. See you at the bottom. And I've been played. So she can ski. Got it. If you find my hat, can you bring it with you? As she picks up speed and fades from view, you realize you're still grinning like an idiot. And now, we're at Whispering River in the late afternoon. As the afternoon wears on, you find yourself strangely unmotivated to return to the lodge. Didn't ask me any questions today. That doesn't mean I didn't get answers. You never answered my question. Which one? There's a whole reason for you being here about my parents. I answered. I said, indirectly. But now I'm not so sure. Hmm. Something about her seems familiar for a second. Then it's gone. Maybe I saw her once on TV or something. Hey, something's been bugging me. Have we met somewhere? Not before yesterday. I'd remember you. I have this weird feeling that I've seen you somewhere before. No, that's not right. Like, I know you from somewhere. For once, Mallory remains uncharacteristically quiet. Jesus, sorry. That sounded like a low-effort pickup line. Nah, you don't seem like the pickup line sort of guy. You're all by yourself in there. What's that supposed to mean? What I mean is, you're on your own path, and sometimes people cross it. Maybe they walk with you on it for a while, and then you keep going, and they move on. But you don't leave it for anyone. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Got all that from one chat and a morning full of chores? That, 
or the army of investigators and the staff psychologist the globe has following you. What? Mallory almost sells it, but a giggle gives her away. Oh my god, you should have seen your face. Investigative journalism isn't exactly flush with cash. I have to pay for my own meals and everything. Not tonight. Anyway, we should head back. It'll be dark soon, and I can't feel my face. Ew, and she is a singer, that is right. She loves to sing, and we're not doing that here. Wait, what? Uh-oh. Mallory blushes at her outburst. That didn't happen. Was that the weekend? I said drop it. Suddenly Mallory's eyes narrow as something behind you draws her attention. What is that? Not falling for it. No, seriously, something moved over there by that tree. Okay, what do we got? Skeptically, you turn to look in the direction she's pointing. Hmm. Stay here. I'll have a look. As you approach the tree, you see imprints in the snow where animals have slept. It's just a dead animal. She approaches to see for herself. Are you sure? I definitely saw it move. Oh god, it's a puppy. I think it's a husky or a malamute. How to get way out here? That's so sad. Oh, I I'm gonna cry. Nope, it is alive. Just then you see the paw twitch. That's not a dog, it's a wolf. I don't see any wounds. It's either internal injury or illness. Pretty small. Maybe it's a runt. Or maybe there's something else wrong with it. So the pack rejected it. More likely they smelled us coming and fled. Probably watching us now. Oh yeah, so I would just go behind them. What should we do? Tough call. If we leave it here, the pack will come back and stay with it until it gets better or, or dies. Uh, on the other hand, it's in pretty bad shape. Likely won't recover without care. Care it might get if we carry it back to the lodge and call the vet. That's not a sure thing. There's risk with that too. If we treat it and it recovers, the pack may not accept it again. It could be an outcast? Maybe. Gambling either way. Right now, my gut says its best shot at recovery is three hots and a cot. Dogs only get fed once a day. Mallory's tone changes and her voice quavers. Her confident demeanor shattered. Ooh, oh, she's, uh, she's drawn from some childhood trauma. Remember her dad treated her like a dog. So, there's a good chance she only got fed once a day as a child. Well, what just happened? She looks haunted. What, what are you going to do? Carry it to the lodge for help. Let nature run its course. Let's carry it to the lodge because, um, although in, and this is a tough decision. I'd say although in most uh, cases, I'd say let nature take its course. Um, I think taking it to the lodge and caring for it is probably better for her mental uh, well-being than, than anything else, really. So we're going to carry it back to the lodge. It's coming with us. You sure that's for the best? Nope. <laughs> Are you doing this for it or for you? Both. And if it's exiled by the pack? At least it'll be alive. Where there's life, there's hope. When you can't see the future, all you can do is the next right thing. What if... Wait, did you just quote Frozen? No. You did, you dork. You pick the pup up gently and are surprised by how light it is. Hmm. There's nothing to it. Those the hindquarters. It's all fur. Pack's not eating well, it seems. It's a boy. What gave that away? Let's call him Hank. Hank? He doesn't look like a Hank. Really? What's a Hank supposed to look like? I don't know. Neck, beard, beer belly, and a wallet chain? Wow, judge much? Mallory gives you an icy glare. Well, I hope it's not after Hank Williams. He died young. Nope, Hank Hill. What'd he do? Sold propane and propane accessories. And he suffered from diminished gluteal syndrome. Diminished... Oh, he had no butt. Just like this little guy. I remember that cartoon now. On second thought, I like Hank. That's clever. Yeah, I'm a real fan of the clever name game. And we enthusiasts prefer the term adult animated series. As you trudge back to the lodge, Hank in hand, Mallory walks by your side, lost in thought. After a moment, you feel her gloved hand slide into the crook of your arm. Are you crying? Pocket sand. Oh, look, he peed. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, achievement unlocked. 
Well, I unlocked an achievement, but I also see that uh, one of the wolf pack people, wolves, is uh, following us. I don't know why I called it a people. It's a wolf. All right, here we are back at the Whispering River Lodge that evening. I am sure we're going to do something with this wolf cub or wolf pup. Is it, a, is it a cub or is it a pup? Anyway, anyway, we're going to be back there, but I think we're going to pick that up in the next episode. I hope you all enjoyed this one. If you did, like I said at the beginning, uh, smack a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Check out the links in the description if you want to further support the channel. And uh, you know what? That's all I got. I appreciate you all so much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.